Hey guys, it's me Mimi. So today I want to talk to you about astral traveling. Have you guys ever astral travel? For those of you who do not know what astral traveling is, you know me, I don't give you scientific definitions for anything. I just give you my experience. So astral traveling um, is when, you, when they say your spirit or soul leaves your body and goes somewhere else. Typically it happens when you're sleeping. Some people would say it happens to them when they're up. I don't know. I'm just going to give you my experience of what happens to me. I astral travel as well. For a long time, I felt like this was like, like weird. Um, I would, I I would go to sleep and I would dream. I would think I was dreaming, but it felt so real. And I'd be in another place, another country. I'd be able to tell you where exactly I was. Um, Like, like the last time it happened, I was in China and I was doing some kind of behind the scenes Chinese dance with something whatever but yeah astral travel so I'd be very curious to know have you guys ever astral traveled have you been sleeping or even up and you felt your spirit or your soul leave your body and go somewhere else but you have a clear memory of where you went like the other place in which you were at and you saw yourself doing things almost like your your soul entered another body and was moving around in that place um that's what astral traveling is and i haven't really i haven't really been able to control it yet i haven't learned how to control it to say hey take me to uh, a beach in hawaii no i haven't been able to do that yet but it happens and it happens to random places so that's why i'll know things about different places that i've never visited i've never been and then, and then when I Google the information and I find that that thing is real, that place is real, whatever that information is, is real. So I'd be interested to know about your astral travel experience if you have it. One of the most important things with astral traveling is that you have to call your spirit back. So, so when you come back to yourself, when you feel like yourself again, when you wake up or you're like, oh my gosh, that was a wild experience. I was in China or in Minnesota somewhere and I was doing blah, blah, blah. And you realize that you have to call your spirit back. You have to say, Mimi energy. This is what I say. Mimi energy, Mimi spirit. I'm calling you back to this body. I'm calling you back from the east, the west, the north, the south. Because your spirit is going to travel. It's going to do everything it wants to do. Because that's what it does. So, so at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you're calling it back. When you're calling it back, you are making sure that you are here, connected to yourself. Right here in this time, in this realm, in this particular time. If not, you can feel disconnected. You can feel disoriented. You can feel like you are missing a part of yourself because essentially you are. Because when your spirit is constantly leaving you, it's making you feel not grounded here in this reality. And this is really important for my spiritual folks.